Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 5, Lesson 6, Refraction and Lenses, Part 2. Our reading for today comes out of your small reader. Chapter 4, Refraction and Lenses. In the previous chapters, you have been reading about how light travels. You already know that light travels at a very fast speed, faster than any machine made by humans. You also know that light travels in a straight line unless it runs into something in its way. When light hits a transparent object, it passes right through the object. When light hits an opaque object, the light is absorbed and blocked, so a shadow is made. When light hits a smooth, shiny surface, like a mirror, it is reflected. One of the things we haven't studied yet is what happens to the speed of light when it passes through something transparent. As fast as light is, when it passes through something transparent, it does slow down. So when light passes through windows, water, and even air, it slows down. The denser or heavier something is, the slower light travels through it. For example, light travels more slowly through glass than it does through water or air. It travels more slowly through water than it does through air. When light moves through one thing that is transparent to something different than is transparent, it changes speed. When light changes speed, the angle of the light rays change and appear to bend. Take a straw and put it in a glass of water. Now look at the straw where it enters the water. Can you see that it appears to be at a different angle? That is called refraction. It's caused by the slowing down of light as it moves from air to water. As the light enters the water, it changes angle direction because it slows down. It seems like magic, but it's really just how light travels. No trick. You may be surprised to learn that there are many different ways that we use light refraction every day. Do you or any of your classmates wear eyeglasses? The lenses and eyeglasses correct different kinds of vision problems by refracting light. Transparent glass or plastic lenses are made to refract light in different ways. Like mirrors, these lenses can be convex lenses or concave lenses. Remember that something convex curves outward. A convex lens refracts and bends light rays closer together. When you look through a convex lens, an object will look larger and closer. It looks magnified because the light rays are closer together. A concave lens curves inward. A concave lens refracts and spreads light rays apart. If you look through a concave lens, an object will look smaller. It looks smaller because the light waves are spread apart. Concave and convex lenses bend light in different directions. A magnifying glass is an example of a simple convex lens. If you hold and look at something closely through a magnifying glass, it will look larger. People use a magnifying glass to more clearly see the details of something small. A magnifying glass has a convex lens that makes small details appear larger. If you hold the magnifying glass close to the object you are looking at. Convex lenses are also found in scientific instruments. A scientist might look through a microscope with a convex lens. The lens magnifies very small things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Scientists study outer space with telescopes. Telescope lenses are also convex. They make the moon, stars, and planets look larger and closer so scientists can learn more about them. Scientists look through microscopes with a convex lens to see tiny things that are not visible to the naked eye, like these germs. Scientists also use telescopes with convex lenses to study outer space. Concave lenses are also useful. Remember that concave lenses spread out light rays. Concave lenses are used in security cameras because they provide a wider view of a place. Do you have a peephole in your door at home? If so, you may have a concave lens. In many homes and apartments, the peepholes of doors have two lenses, one of which is concave. The other lens is convex and magnifies the image made by the concave lens. The people looking in from the outside can barely see what's inside. Remember, concave lenses make things look smaller. However, if you are looking from the inside out, you can see who is standing in front of your door. Concave lenses that spread out light rays are useful for security purposes. 
You may now move on to Unit 5, Lesson 6, Google Form.